What's going on guys, I'm Marty back at the game with the weekly Rust skins videos and just quickly, just so you guys all know, the Rust Twitch Drops event is currently on. So go to the uh, twitch.facepunch.com to check out the streamer drops. Um, but we've got some pretty fat ones in this uh, round and we've also got our cheeky general drops as well. So in order to get them, all you have to do is watch said streamer for three hours. Um, whereas the general drops, you just have to watch any streamer as long as they have dropped activated um, for the three hours, six hours, nine hours. So overall, good luck, guys. And remember, have a skits one. Also, just quickly, don't forget, make sure you guys go and follow my Twitch so that hopefully I eventually get my Balti skin or Garage Door skin accepted in the game as a Twitch drop. And uh, one day I'll be here as well or in the general drops even. What's going on guys, I'm Mighty back here again with the week the Rust skins videos and we do now have the new Arctic pack in the Rust item store so that does mean that Arctic Hazzy is in the game but it is a general item which does mean that it's not tradable and not marketable and it will per be permanently bound to your Steam account. Keep that in mind because this does mean you're not going to be able to trade it in the future, you're not going to be able to sell it in the future so you can't buy it as an investment don't buy more than one because you're going to be playing yourself. Just keep that in mind. You can't buy this as an investment. Arctic Pack is not an investment. It looks sick, and I'll show you guys the stuff in game um, if I can get one of these buddy snowmobile things in. But overall, you can't invest in it because you can't trade it and you can't sell it on the community market. Keep that in mind when you want to decide whether you want to pick up the Arctic Pack for $18. Um, overall, I think it looks sick though. So. Let's get started with the limited store and we'll get started with the weapons first. We've got the Glister double barrel going for $2.75, which is a standard store price for weapons and tools. And overall, I do think the Glister set has been pretty successful so, so, so far. Sorry, And I also do think the DBs are usually pretty safe investments. So overall, I do think the Glister DB will make you money. Um, I only going for $2.75. I do think it's pretty easy to make money off of this one. Um, but if you want, you can try and get it for a little bit cheaper with a community market buy order um, on Steam, of course, if you didn't know that one already. So overall, I do think the Glister DB will make you money if you invest in it as a medium to long-term investment. All right, I'm going to go to the Neo Soul MP5 going for $2.75. I do also think that this is going to be a pretty successful investment um, just because all MP5 skins except for the latest one which was the uh, Sun, the Solar MP5, which is currently $1.96, 297 on the market, oversaturated as. Um, all of them are above $2.75 on the community market. Now, they might have the best start, and that is because the Ross Twitch drops it out. We do have a pretty nice looking MP5 skin, possibly more than one in the Rust streamer drops at the moment. In fact, we have two free MP5 skins, so keep that in mind with Mark Plays and Warrior Rust's MP5 skins, which both look pretty nice in my opinion. Um, but I do still think that the Neo Soul MP5 will make you money. Of course, it is going to be slightly delayed because of the fact that we have the free Twitch drops on the community market. But overall, MP5 skins are a safe investment. And if you do keep this one as a medium to long-term investment, then you will make money off of it. And I do think the Neo set, even though the AK isn't performing very well, um, I do still think you can make uh, quite easy money off of this, especially if the set continues, then the other items, including this one, are only going to go up after more skins come out. So this is still a new set, keep that in mind as well. We've only got the AK and the SAR for it. Um, and so I do think that out of the three, the MP5 is going to perform better than the SAR and the AR. So keep that in mind as well. But overall, I will recommend investing in the Neo Soul MP5 off of the Rust Adam store for this week, and I do think it will make you some easy profits. Moving over to the final weapon, we have the Polar Bear L96. Now this is the fat looking L96 skin, I really like it. But if I'm not mistaken, I think we have had some free L96 Twitch drops before. Let me just quickly scroll this screen. We don't have any this week. But the only problem is the L96 is a harder weapon to get in Rust, and so that does make it uh, less demand on the community market for the skins for the L96s because only um, the people that actually know what they're doing can actually really get the L96s. So newer players aren't really going to be able to get L96s unless they are playing on modded servers really. 
um, or they get lucky with an airdrop while they're playing on a dead server. But overall, airdrop, uh, sorry, L96s don't perform very well. In fact, we actually only have three L96 skins that are above $2.75, and only two of them actually would make you profit because the black L9, Blackout L96, um, which is the third, is $2.80. So after seeing tax, you're going to lose money. Overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Polar Bear L96. I do think it is a cool skin, but I'd recommend getting it off of the community market with the buy order because I do think you're going to be able to get it for cheaper than $2.75. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Polar Bear L96 off of the Russell store for this week. Alrighty, moving over to the deployables. We've only got weapons and deployables for this week as well. We're going to look at the Arctic Base door. This is a armored door going for $2.75, single armored door that is. And overall, I actually think this is a really nice looking uh, single armored door skin. And I do think that if you are in a snow biome, then it will blend in a little bit more. But I mean, not really... Not too many people really use an armored door as their front door. And I mean, either way, it's not like you're going to be able to blend your base in um, anyway, unless you can eventually get some skinnable walls. But overall, one slight critique on this one. I really just don't like the exit sign on the back of the door. I think it looks a little bit out of place and looks a bit strange. But overall, I do think it is a quite nice, simple design. And I do think that this one will make you profits. I also do see this becoming a set. Um, highly likely to become a set and then also to continue on with the different biomes as well I do think that that is likely it's only two dollars and 75 cents as well it unfortunately doesn't have a glow um, the thing they could have done to make this a little bit better was to make that exit sign glow with a little light um, but unfortunately I don't think that that is a, uh, the case but two dollars and 75 cents I will recommend investing in the arctic base door off of the Rust Adam store for this week as single armor doors do perform quite well and we don't get them in very often at all. So overall, I will recommend them investing in the Arctic base door off the Rust Adam store for this week. Moving over to the Danger Zone wooden door. This is obviously a wooden door skin um, and it is also a glowing deployable going for $3.45 now. Unfortunately, wooden door skins aren't really used uh, for that long at all in a white. And for $3.45, which is pretty much the standard store price for glowing deployables, um, I'm not going to recommend investing in this one. I do think that it has a really nice glow. And it's definitely a unique standout wooden door. But unfortunately, wooden doors just don't have the demand to be making you money buying them at a starting price of $3.45. So if you want to pick this one up as an investment, which I wouldn't recommend, then I'd recommend getting it off of the community market with a buy order instead of picking it up off the Russell M store. Um, overall, I don't think you're going to make money investing in this one off of the Russell M store. So I'm not going to recommend investing in this one for this week. And last but not least for the doors, we have the IS Garage Door, continuation of the IS set, going for $3.45. I don't know why this one's starting off as a more expensive price when it's not a glowing deployable. Um, I do think that that is definitely a disappointing factor of this set. They've all started at $3.45, but thankfully the set does continue to come out but it's not performing um, as well as it should be in my opinion. And so overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the ice garage door off of the Rust Adam store for this week because it is too expensive and it's not a glowing deployable. And that is where I think it is actually um, not making you money. So if this glowed, then it will be worth a lot more in the community market than what it is on the um, community market now as a non glowing skin. So, Overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the IS Garage Door off of the Rust Adam Store for this week, simply because I don't think that there is enough demand for this skin. Even though it looks sick during the day, of course, it's not glowing at night. And you could get some similar looking skins like the uh, Glacial Visage for slightly more expensive, of course, but it does look hectic in the night as well because it glows in the dark. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the IS Garage Door off of the Rust Adam Store for this week because I don't think it's going to make you money. And moving over to the final skin of the week, we've got the Scientific Stone Storage. This is a glowing deployable continuation of the Scientific Storage set, and this has been a successful set so far. $3.45, which is the standard store price for glowing deployables. And overall, I will recommend investing in this one, as I do think the Scientific Stone um, Storage box will perform well as the Scientific Stone Storage, the Scientific Storage set has. So. Overall, I will recommend investing in the Scientific Stone Storage Box 
off of the Rossum store for this week. And I do think it will make you money. Now we move over to the cart. Alrighty guys, this is my cart for this week. I'm not getting the garage door and I'm not getting the wooden door. Um, I don't think they're gonna be good investments. Clearly I'm not investing anyway this week. I'm only getting one of everything except for those two items I just mentioned. I'm also going to be picking up the um, Arctic bloody three pack, whatever it's called. Where am I? Yeah, it's called the Arctic pack, okay. Um, it's gonna cost me $32.40. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Uh, I don't have a sponsor this week, so I am my own sponsor. Go follow me on Twitch, guys. Um, I'm going to be streaming mainly Tarkov, Halo Infinite, and Rust, but occasionally I might stream something else depending on what I feel like playing. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and remember, have a skits one. Don't forget about the free Twitch skins for this week. Why? 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 Why?